This tutorial is one of many instructional videos presented by the Olympus Industrial Equipment Group. This tutorial video will provide you with detailed instructions to perform count and measure with particle separation within the Olympus Stream image analysis software. Once you have your image captured with the particles to be counted clearly defined, you will need to interface with the count and measure tool window within the processing layout. First you will need to set up the threshold for your image. Threshold is the software's ability to distinguish between intensity values or color values to mark them against a background. Let's select the automatic threshold. The stream software will determine the best level of threshold needed for the sample image. This automatic detection works very well. If for some reason it fails to capture all points of interest, then you can hit cancel to change to manual threshold. Clicking on the drop down will provide other methods of thresholding within the software. Manual hue and saturation value HSV threshold will provide ability to threshold on intensities based on the hue and saturation value of the image. Manual threshold will allow selection of individual color intensities or gray value intensities. Adaptive threshold will provide intensity selection within grayscale on a color image. Let's select manual threshold to demonstrate those capabilities. With manual threshold open, you now have the ability to change the slider covering your histogram to include specific levels of intensity for each color channel, or by selecting to add or subtract ranges with the dropper tools. Let's cancel the manual threshold to use the automatic mode. Again, select the drop down to choose the automatic threshold mode. Since automatic mode works very well on this colored image to detect the threshold of each particle, we can now simply select count and measure to perform the particle counting. Further, there are options for count and measure under the drop down next to button 2. Let's show these and go through them. The first two options allow you to perform count and measure on the entire image or region of interest. Below this, you can define a new region of interest by drawing a rectangle, circle, or polygon. You can have multiple regions of interest to detect particles within. This will provide you with phase measurements of particles compared to area of the region of interest. Detection options allows you to change the settings such as counting border particles and how to color code particles. You can also choose options for your classifications from here or make adjustments to your current classifications. Let's click out of this and continue with our inspection. Now we can see the detected particles on our sample. Since some particles were touching, we will need to perform particle separation to those ones. You will need to click on the Select Detected Objects arrow within the Count and Measure tool window. This will allow you to click on specific particles and highlight them to, to perform additional functions. Now let's select a particle that is touching and has been counted as one large particle. We now need to decide to either manually split the particle by drawing a border line between them by hand or to select the auto split option within the software. Let's try the auto split option since the particle can be easily determined as two particles based on its shape. The particle has now been split into two separate particles and the object measurement list was updated. We can now deal with the other particles that are touching and have been counted as one particle in a batch sequence. First select all the particles by clicking on the Object ID tab within the Count and Measure result window. That will highlight all particles detected. Now select the Auto Split function again to run on any particles that it can determine need to be separated. Once it has performed any changes, those will be shown as new separated particles. And again, the Object Measurement list was updated. By double-clicking on the Object Class field, we can sort the two classes generated, allowing us to easily show the different particles. Let's click through the particles listed in class 1. This class has separated the particles by their shape factor. This is the first class. This is the second in the list. As you can see, this is a broken particle and we will need to remove this particle entirely from our evaluation. This is the third in the list and the final particle in class 1. Now go back to the second particle listed by clicking on it so we can remove it. To remove or delete this particle, you can simply right click on the particle to bring up options. Select Delete Selected Objects to remove this particle from the evaluation. 
Once the particle has been removed, the object measurement list will be updated. Next, let's show the object filter window. Within this window, you can perform filtering of particles by any of our measurement methods. Some examples would be to filter by size and area, shape factor, diameter, or max length. Filtering can provide a way to exclude or include particles of interest. You simply select the measurement, then select the minimum or maximum filter range to allow you to manually select the minimum or maximum particles. Or you can manually adjust the sliders within the histogram to include or exclude certain ranges. We will not be applying any filtering to this evaluation. The next window will show the class measurements we set up. This provides details on individual classes. Class 1 is set up based on a mean shape factor. This allows the particles that are rectangular in shape to be in class 1 and the round particles in class 2. We can show the object count for each class along with any measurement value we would like. The next window will show a histogram of the classes. This histogram can be exported to a graph to be used in the reporting tool as well by clicking on the export to chart button. Let's go ahead and export this chart. The class histogram is now opened as a chart. This chart can be used in the reporting tool or saved into a database or file location. Let's go back to the image by clicking on it at the top tab. Now you will need to click back on the object measurement tab. By selecting the export workbook button, the object measurement list will be transferred to a usable workbook within Stream. Now that we have a list in a workbook, we can save it to the database or file location or include it in our report. In this instructional video, we have covered count and measure with particle separation within the Olympus Stream image analysis software. We hope this video has been beneficial and we invite you to contact us directly with any questions.